Where is that? Is it Niklo? Niklo. Niklo. Where are you calling me from, honey? Montgomery, Montgomery, Alabama. Montgomery, Alabama. How old are you? 36. 36. What you do for a living? I'm a bounty hunter, bail bonds, and I do security. You a bounty hunter? Whoa! Fucking up, fucking it. Oh, gas. Okay, what was Dog's wife name? What was Dog's wife? Remember, Dog's wife had them hooters on her. What was her name? Beth or something? Beverly or something like that. So here we go. We got we got Auntie the Bounty Hunter has entered the building, ladies and gentlemen. Can there be a more masculine occupation? than an individual that hunts uh, felons and thieves and criminals down. Just, just, you just, you just that thuggish and rough and tough that you would do something like that. Ain't no way. Coming from the hood, we have seen how the constable gets treated. In case y'all know what a bounty hunter is, bounty hunter ain't no cop. I don't even believe a bounty hunter can use lethal force. And so you get people like this, you know, a constable, bounty hunter, they the same from in, in the hood because they get disrespected just the same. And why is it so laughable? A bounty hunter, you throw yourself in harm's way. You got to go out there and sometimes without the help or, or backing of law enforcement, you got to go out there and wrestle these criminals and bring them in. And this a sister going to do this. And she looking for a man. I can't wait to hear what kind of man she's looking for. I hope she just say, I'm looking for a cuckold. Can I have him? Because that's all she qualified for right now, being a, a bounty hunter. Sisters, do whatever y'all want to do. Just take what comes along with these occupations. That's all I'm saying. So here we are. We're going to rewind this a sec. Remix this up. And here we go. Let's take it all in, in its totality. I didn't catch it all. But that was wild. This is a first bounty hunter. Okay. Call me from honey. Montgomery, Alabama. Montgomery, Alabama. How old are you? 36. 36. What you do for a living? I'm a bounty hunter, bail bonds, and I do security. You a bounty hunter and bail bonds? Yes, ma'am. I run my own security company. You run your own security company? So the bounty hunter, y'all find people that's fugitives? Yes, ma'am. There's somebody that didn't show up for court. Oh, not somebody. Yes, ma'am. Now I don't watch so many movies. I'm thinking about somebody that broke out of jail. Mm, okay. No, ma'am. Okay. So it's the person that had a court date that didn't show up. Okay. Yes. Same difference. Both of them, they both mad as hell. All right, get this understood. <laughs> Whether I just broke out of jail or I didn't go to court because they wanted to put me in jail, you ain't about to take me. Don't you understand? She showed up to get the people who skipped court, which meaning they didn't want to face whatever consequences they wanted to face. And she's going to show up and say, I'm going to take you to face these consequences. There, That's why this is laughable. Now she's saying she got her own security firm and all this glorious stuff. It's a little bit of cap here. I can smell it. A little bit of cap. Because Kendra's saying, you know, you are a bounty hunter, and she's saying she a bail bondsman. Those, correct me if I'm wrong, but those two occupations kind of intermingle. So she's saying, she's saying she a bounty hunter when she may just be a bail bondsman or something. Because well, you know, most of the bounty hunters work for the bail bondsman. Yeah, and that was that was my thought. So she covered all things. Like she did, they just talking. She said, I run security. I am a I'm a bail bondsman. And oh, I'm a bounty she could be both. There you go. Maybe she is the bail bondsman. Most of the bail bondsmen will give the ticket to the bounty hunter and then split it. Maybe she like I keep all in house. Not only do I bail the bonds, then I go get them. That's possible. It it is. And here we go. She's 36 years old. I'm 37. You she about to come and wrangle me up for some speeding tickets if I want to show what you gonna come get me, woman. Good luck. And I'm kind. These Negroes are here evil and they will and they will do harm to you, sister. This is not why is this such a big problem and we stuck on this? What man wants to wake up knowing my wife about to go out there and wrangle 
uh, criminals and thugs and the like. And I got to wait and hope she make a home safe. She ain't no cop. She a whole bounty hunter. Tell that to, hey, Gab, my wife a bounty hunter. That's wild. <laughs> Wow. Definitely not our culture. All right. I think you know what I mean. She got too much melanin in her skin. So I'm gonna say about that. So it'll be accepted maybe in other cultures. I don't know, but I never see no sister bounty hunting. Not to say she don't exist, but you know, it's unusual. Put put a uh, one in the chat if y'all think uh women uh aspire to be bounty hunters with a healthy mindset. Or if you know one. So if you know a sister, all right, a sister that bounty hunts in particular, all right, put one in the chat. You be like, oh, my cousin or my auntie or somebody, my mama, my wife. I don't know. Let us know. I don't, I don't expect to see no ones at all. All right. And we go look for them. We go look for them. Yes, ma'am. Don't play with Nico. Don't play with her. You have any children? Yes, I have five. You have five kids. How old are your kids? 17, 15, 13, 8, and 4. 17, 15, 13, 8, and 4. All, about all under the age of 18. They're all in the house. How's she bounty hunting with all these kids? That's something is amiss. Are they helping? Are these boys? And she said, y'all going to come wrangle these thugs oh, with no, me? They, they watching their siblings. You know what they doing. Boy, everybody babysitting while mama out rounding up fugitives. And no Just, man in sight. I cannot wait to hear what she looking for. I won't be surprised if she's looking for a woman. Okay. Let's get into it. The same man? No. How many men? Three. Three. Um, uh, Mike, you settled down with any of them? I did. Um, I got married while I was in high school. Okay. Actually. When did you get divorced? Don't laugh. Because we ain't been together in so long. Uh, 2020? Uh, so, she this lady. Wow. What we got here? <laughs> so are we Tell you. For her job? Tanya Carter said, we idiots. Do we think she should quit her job? Well, Tanya Carter, since you come here calling folks idiots, for one, that, that uh, sign language shows exactly who you are. But no, she shouldn't quit her job. But she need to understand how masculine her occupation is and finding a man is going to be tough, depending on what she wants. But ain't no idiots up here. <laughs> That's all. Like you say, I see you didn't drop a one in the chat because you don't know no female, no sisters doing this. Unusual. All right? I don't think a man would allow his wife, as we said early on, no man would allow his wife to do this unless he's a beta simp, as somebody else put in the chat. So mm -hmm. you just got to – we don't make the rules up. We just play the game, all right? That's all. That was only three years ago. Exactly. A long time. Yes, it is because I ain't been with him since 2008. You said you got divorced in 2020. Yes, I had to find him first is, to get a divorce. Is that what made you start your own company? Oh, yes. Actually, yes. What's going on? Okay. So when did you get when, when did you get married? I got married in 2005, 2005 when I was in high school. And then, and then you wanted to get a divorce in 2008? Yeah. And he disappeared? Actually, I, I left from Birmingham and moved to Montgomery. Okay. Okay. So you left? Uh, yes, I left. So, and then and you couldn't find him until 2020? No, I knew exactly where you was, but it was... He came up missing for some point of time. He came up missing. So you guys broke up. As we always say, this is a dating show. You are trying to attract a man. She come in talking about she bounty hunting. She got five kids by three men. She's married to a man. Brother wind up missing. 
but he he wound up missing, and that's how she became a bounty hunter. She said, "My last man came up missing, and I had to go find him." And she said, "You know, I'm pretty good at finding lost Negroes. I think I'll become a bounty hunter." <laughs> so her missing husband inspired her to become a bounty hunter. Is that the story? There you go. There you go. Glorious. No okay. So, so how many she got? Good. This brother. How many kids she got? How many kids? Five of them things. Five kids. How many baby daddies? Three. Three. She don't need to quit her job at all. She need to keep working very, very hard until her dying days. That's what she need to do. She don't need oh, to quit. For sure. For sure, for sure. The absolute last thing she need to do is quit her job. All Man, right. Keep that. In fact, she may need to pick up a second or a third. Who knows? <laughs> Up until 2008, but you didn't get divorced until 2020. Yeah, yes, because then it was like COVID going on when I did my divorce. Well, that's 12 years. So in two, between 2000, exactly. I wasn't trying to get a divorce at that point in time. I was just trying to help him. He needed help. I'm so, so confused, but okay. But y'all divorced okay, now, right? Okay, then. Y'all divorced? Huh? Y'all divorced now, right? Yes, very much. Okay. What's the zodiac sign, Nico? I'm a Capricorn. All right. So this is Nico. She's a bounty hunter, owns her own security company um, in Alabama, Montgomery, Alabama, 36, five kids. Um, let's <laughs> Real quick, my girl Courtney Love called her a gatekeeper. She only 36, but she giving off gatekeeper vibes. I feel you. I feel you. I felt that when I see I had to stop it. He said, gatekeeper, she giving off 55-year-old vibes. Man, yes, yeah, sis. That you here we go. Why is this so comical, Miss Bounty Hunter Lady? Because your occupation is obviously wearing on you, sister. You're hard. You look you look real hard and put away wet. You over here talking about you're 36, but you look more like 56. Her voice, all oh, that sound like you smoke a pack a day. All oh, that you sound wow out there. That, Man, did she yeah. yet? Did she yet say what kind of man she want? No, she did not. God, she yeah. about to right this moment. What is that to address his gatekeeper status? I said she's well too young to be a gatekeeper. At fifty-five years old is the entry bear for gatekeeping. But she definitely giving off them vibes. Understood. That's all. Let's do it. What kind of man you looking for? Uh, uh, tall, dark skin, dependent, don't stay at home with his mama, a real man. Tall, dark skin, yeah. independent, a real man. Does he got to make a certain amount of money? No, because I kind of, he, as long as he can take care of himself. Okay. Long to take care of himself. What's your deal breakers? My deal breakers. Uh, no mama's babies. Um, I, I don't like nobody that want to depend on me. Okay, stay in the light because your light keeps going out for some reason. All right, now it's good. It's good now. No, it was better before. Okay, there we go. So, did in the past, did your children's dads depend on you? Yeah. Okay, you don't want that no more. No, baby. No. No, baby. What she she said so no, loud. No, baby. I don't want nug nug. The last two guys, I did have to take care of them, Kendra. No, baby. They was they was young. They was tall, dark, and handsome. They was breaking my back. But no, baby. I can't. Auntie can't play that game no more. And I'm tripping. She only thirty six, and she out here moving like this. This is bad. She been. As we said, every time these sisters come up here with their deal breakers, they be showing us who they've been dating. She been taking care of couch Negroes. She said, pretty much her only stipulation for her next man, she said, I can't be taking care of him. I just, as long as he ain't no mama's boy and he could take care of himself and wipe his own ass, when then we cool. So, yeah, that's, uh, uh, that's wild. That's wild. That's wild, Mr. Walker. 
here we are we got a bunch going on in the chat here all right trying to keep up with it all as my man project leroy say simps for all these type of women absolutely my brother that's all she conjuring up that's all she conjuring up right now all right but man before we move forward shout out my man born tombe i can't pronounce your name my brother we have to mr. work, work black mr <laughs> black for hitting the cash app again supporting the show he says the best show on youtube we appreciate you brother we appreciate all the support everybody checking in with us right now supporting the show make sure y'all at least hit the like button those are free all right help us out with the algorithm make sure people are you know catching this content we want everybody to tune in well, my, hey I, I tie your card i like these detractors ladies they are wrong i know men making 175,000 and married to fat women less than 100k you are tripping <laughs> <laughs> also somewhere, love- further, somewhere further up 100k is not a lot of money well two <laughs> things is true and when you here we go let's debunk some of this let's have a conversation this time you want us to we'll drop the link also if you want us to drop the link you're more than welcome to come up you got a cam up i see you don't have an avatar so you <laughs> all right but what what percentage of black men make 100k because these women are looking for black men mm-hmm. and we're gonna say what roughly about eight percent at best there we go make 100k for a greater stat I want to say 20% of black households make 100K. That's 20%. 20% of black households make 100, more than 100K a year. That's mama and daddy, or just mama, or however the situation working out. Mm-hmm. So for one man to make that, when 20% of, that's the only, 80% of our households don't make 100K a year combined. Mm-hmm. So maybe it is not a lot of money. Two things could be true. It's not a lot of money, but she ain't going to find a man making it. <laughs> about because it, it's rare. It's rare. It's rare. Just because something is rare don't mean it's necessarily the most valuable thing on earth. But a man, a black man making 100K is rare. No matter how you slice it. That's all. It, show me these women. Tell them to come up. This is an open platform. Don't be in the chat trolling. Bring you and your fat friends up and show me them. I want to see. <laughs> and there you go. So you got those statistics. Now they all want them tall. They want them six foot or taller. Now you at point zero zero one. Good luck, my baby. <laughs> Don't want. You got that New Orleans accent. They say that, but I'm black and Indian, and I say in Alabama, I never left out of Alabama. Okay. So do you want the guy to be in Alabama? No. Where where you want no. to be? Somewhere different, cause cheat. Are you gonna Down move? Here? Are you gonna move? Out. Yes. Yes, baby. So you wanna move out of Alabama? Okay. I'm going to move. You wanna get married again? Probably. Right. I ain't gonna say probably, cause I did it young. So I don't know. Everybody else said they'd been married three, four, five times. I don't want to be that person. I did it because I got pregnant. Well, I got married first, and then I had kids. Okay, but then your other two children's dads were they after your marriage? Fix your light, honey. Your light keep going out. Why is yeah. your light going in and out? All right. I don't know. Um, you can you see me okay, now? Right, right there. So what did you have? What did your other kids' dads come into play? While you were still married? Yeah. So while you were married, you had kids by two other men? Not yeah, but I wasn't with my I wasn't with the daddy. But you were legally married. Yes. So during that process, was you trying to get divorced? Yes, I was. That's why I said he came up missing. So that's why I was telling you. How long was he missing that's- for? Uh, I, I don't, I can't see. 
Whoa! You know what? You know what? Brothers. Fuck this shit, I'm out. Mm -mm. Fuck this shit, I'm out. No thanks. Don't Hold on. Yeah. This is this is unprecedented around here. It is. A lot of trifling debauchery. I get it. She said she couldn't find this man. That's that's why she couldn't divorce him. But but while being pregnant or uh married. married, she was married and had two kids by two men while married. Here's my thing. So whenever these other two men enter her life that she gave her womb to, my goodness, and she was married the whole time. Did did she ever talk about this? She ever said, you know what? Just did she ever be genuine and honest and tell these men, hey, I know y'all like me and y'all looking to impregnate me, but just so you know, I'm married. But don't worry, because because he missing. <laughs> so don't my husband been missing for a long time. How long? I don't know, but he missing. Oh cap. Is that there we go? Is that a red flag within itself? Like, are you gonna start dating a woman? You say, All right, tell me about your ex. She gonna say, Yeah, we got a couple kids. We was married and now. He wound up missing. You're gonna say, Oh, I'm head over heels for this woman. No, not at all. He just gone, huh? <laughs> no, ain't no way. Any foul play involved? You bounty oh. hunting, you see what I'm saying? It's See, she could be covering her own tracks. I ain't no, ain't with it. She uh, she appears super masculine. Her man, her man's is coming up missing. She having two other kids by two other guys while pregnant. <laughs> Y'all know she had two children by two different dudes while married to her missing husband. Let let that sizzle in your spirit. Uh. Child story so confusing. Yeah. So the other two men. That you were having kids with, you and what happened with those guys? Um, I got two kids, my les um two kids. Me and him just cut it off eight years, just cut it off because I had issues with him cheating, being us a correction officer. They always say the boys in blue, don't worry about it. Well, technically you was cheating because you had a whole husband. No, I wasn't, because um, actually he knew that I had a husband. Actually, his mama paid for my divorce. Fuck it up, fuck it up, fuck it up, fuck it up, fuck it up. 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 Yo, yo, new boyfriend, Nug Nug's mom out here paying for yo divorce from yo missing husband. Which which Nug Nug was this? Which Nug Nug mama was this? Was the first one, the one of the first baby or the second baby? As Kendra said, this is so confusing. It's impossible to get the full context because these sisters will never show just how messy and nasty and trifling these happenings were. They bad. This is terrible. This is terrible. So this is the mother's. She, she's raising children. It's unfortunate. I don't know how good of a mother she is. Who knows? Who knows? Hopefully she got all boys. Uh, she got some girls around. I don't think she can raise no women up. Not with this software. But she can raise some uh, hardened men. She can raise uh, women like her raise NFL stars and stuff. They grow up. You know what I mean? There you so, go. There you go. Hard woman. Raise hard man. At at best. At best. Yeah, at best. Yeah, at best. Okay, so we on two ends of scale. Let me hold on. Yeah, I I mean, whoa. Whoa. <laughs> whoa. All right. On one end, a mom like that can create, you know, NFL superstars and rappers, you know, like little scrappies and stuff. And on one hand, they create uh institutionalized men who end up in the prison system all they like or lady so, boys and things that or lady boys or being deleted by the age of 25 stuff like that yeah so she either gonna um uh, make some hard nose you know athlete or something of that nature or she gonna have her son out here getting his door slam bow getting his man box eight out <laughs> oh, oh man 
got the mama pay for the divorce, Nico. Yes. What is going on? So why you ain't stay with that guy? The mama done pay for the divorce so you could be with her son? No. No. I don't want. Don't want. Do y'all co-parent well? Yeah. Okay. What about the third baby daddy? Now, what's that situation? My oldest son, his we co-parent very well. Okay. Okay. My husband don't. He's not in my kids, my girl's life, so that's a done deal. Okay. Okay. So all done deals. This is bad. All right. Before we move forward, shout out to the Do Better Podcast, Mr. Theo Cooper in the building, brother. On this Saturday, well, we are evening. We appreciate you, man, for tuning in. He gave us a shout out on his show last week. That was dope. You know what I mean? Give some little old people like us a shout out. Oh, big dog like yourself. We appreciate it, man. Like I said, go over there and check his channel. I'll subscribe. He be cooking up a day. So go check him out. There you go. Big shout out, brother. Appreciate the love. Love you right back, brother. Keep up doing your thing. We're going to keep doing that thing over here, and we're going to make this happen, man. Appreciate you, brother. Much love. But yeah, back to this woman. So she's pretty much letting Kendra know. Kendra's saying, well, you think, did she say she wanted a man without kids or something? Kendra said, you think your kids, she said, the men ain't in the picture. She's trying to explain this part of it. It, and is that and we always say that's not landing the plane explaining why you got all these kids and there's not a man in sight that's not you ain't getting this badge or a strike for that you got to stop that so she's doing the same sick hoodoo um my previous you know uh dna donors they don't mean nothing they barely even count <laughs> So, you know, they ain't around. Don't worry about them. It's just going to be me and you, baby. Me and you and the rest of their kids. <laughs> oh. Oh, <laughs> boy. So here we go. So what would you say to the man that might be cautious that you do have five children by three different men? So what would you say to the guy that might be a little cautious? Don't worry about it because I take care of you. You take care of who? Him? Uh, yes. So you ain't got to worry about my baby dad because I'm me. You're you. Okay. Exactly. Do you want exactly. more kids? Mm, hell no. They said that the first time I had one child. And then I had four more after that. Oh. Every time I say I don't want no more kids, I keep having them. Come on, man. And she said after her first kid, she said she won't have it no more. After her second kid, she said she won't have it no more, and so forth and so on. Every time she get pregnant, she said, I ain't having no more kids. She said, Kendra, just shut up about it. I don't even mention it. It's like saying Candyman or something. We ain't even going to say this. We, we got to stop talking about having kids like it's just a happening. You know, she said, every time my son go have no more, I end up having one. You didn't end up having one. You had to do some things in order to make this child come in, come to life. So I've saying it like you just woke up pregnant, like you tripped and fell down and bumped your head on some pregnant. No, it didn't just happen. You was doing things. It's a whole act that goes along with getting pregnant. They got to stop that. No, account no accountability. Zero. You don't want to have kids. Do what it takes to not have kids. So like Theo said, trying to get this channel here to a, a 1K for sure. Hopefully by the end of next week, we'd be at 1K over here. Try to get this channel monetized, see what we got. Um, so, yeah, man, make sure y'all subscribe. And uh, like Theo said, he hit 33K today. Salute, big dog. Hit 33K today. All right, he got 33,000 subscribers over there. He be over there cooking up, like I said, every day. So go over there, subscribe to his channel, hit the link. For All sure, right? for sure, for sure. <laughs> and, and definitely make sure you subscribe to the Single by Choices channel and the Cart Before the Horse. Like I said, we got, what, 12K over there on that channel. Make sure y'all subscribed over there because tonight at 8 p.m., 
All right, make sure you, you got your notification bell set. All right, Kirk, before the hood, they done sent us back to the hood, y'all. Yeah. They done sent us back to the hood. And we're doing a deep depth investigation around here. All right, mm -hmm. so make sure y'all tune in tonight. Our first part, we be in Chirac. Make sure you subscribe to the Cart Before the Horse channel. This woman here, she said she her. We got another special snowflake in the building. Everybody got, they got these special set of circumstances. It don't apply. All the other baby mamas, that stuff don't apply to me. There you go. They all special. They all different. Just like the last sister. She said, I ain't asking for nothing uh, crazy. No, because I'm different. Don't you see? Every single person that comes on Kendra is oh so very different but they all single <laughs> exactly okay um and the guy can't have kids right yes i love kids don't get me wrong i love kids okay did i ask if he has to make a certain amount of money yes you did okay let's do the kids but money don't Go ahead. You go ahead. I said money don't make nothing. Money don't make nothing. Money, I make. I can make money. They can make money. It don't make. You can make twenty, twenty k a year. It don't matter. It don't matter. It don't matter. Okay. All right, let's oh, okay. And there we go. I want to say, out of all the women that ever come on kendra and damn sure single by choices when they get to this point here this is the most logical woman to ever step foot on the show i would have to crown her that much she's the uh, queen of logic well, she, 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 give me i'm having she a said, hard time oh, debating that i'm having a hard time debating that guy that's a, she's she said and all that can... is for who do she landed the plane she landed the plane and she said, listen, I know I got a lot going on over this way. He he just make a little 20K a year, a little 20K. You know what? Delusion ain't ain't so present. Uh, uh, Self-awareness seems to be in the building. And glory to her. May she find Mr. 20K. She ain't even, they, she ain't asked for Mr. 40K, 40 hours a week. She said 20K a year. Yeah, that's Mr. 15 hours a week. See what I'm saying? That's Mr. working at the local gas station or whatever. She said, come on, we can make this work. This woman got a good head on her shoulders. Godspeed, sister. May you find what you're looking for. Yeah, she ain't looking for much. She looking for the guy holding the, the Salvation Army bell outside of Walmart. You see? She looking for the guy dressed up like a cheeseburger telling you to come get you a free burger at some place. That guy standing out there for three hours and he holding up some sign. She ain't looking for much. There you go. So let me backtrack. Say I apologize. I thought this woman was crazy because she came up here on a dating show, being a bounty hunter, very aggressive, raspy voice, very masculine. But her mind is in the right place. She said, "I know what I got going on. I take Mister Twenty Thousand a year, and now th that puts her. You understand? You are what you attract. You got it. You got to have." Some knowledge of self, know your position on this earth. Good for her. I'm proud of her. I take back all the negative stuff I said, sister. May you go out there and may you find your uh high earning nug nug and make it smack. Glory to you. Oh Jesus Lord. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna laugh at me. I'm short, right? What you got on, Nicole? You got on shorts. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, all oh, right. Oh, ain't okay. Grandma. Well, how old is she? She's See, she, she 36. Put that on, on grandma. Oh, Cause she, man, that's bad. She roll hard, put away wet. She's stressing. Nug Nug is on his way. He I'm on his way. Good. I'm about to say she look good for old lady. She 36. Damn. <laughs> I Man, I was going to try to give her, a, you know, some type of compliment. I thought she was like, you know, 52 or she's 36. 
36. I need to see her ID. Mm. <laughs> it's okay. a rough life. Rough life. Bounty hunter, bail bondsman. Rough life for a woman. Okay. okay. I'm 411. I'm sorry. I'm 411. You're 411. I'm 411. 411. Okay. 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 So this is Nico uh, Montgomery, Alabama. 35. Say again. Niklo. 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 When was your last relationship? January. Okay. You don't have to answer, but I'm going to ask. When's the last time you was intimate with someone? January. Okay. Why do you think you're single? Because they don't like my job. Oh. I will say when you came on, and I'm not a person, I'm not a person, I believe, I believe most women, I mean women truck drivers. I, I mean, I'm pretty open to women having all types of jobs. But when you say you were a bounty hunter, your security company, I did think that was a man's job. And that and I hope that's not a sexist thing to think. But I was just always thinking bounty hunters were men. No, females can do it too. Obviously. They're like they can be drive um garbage trucks or whatever. It's not a sexist thing. Okay. I I just want I always want to do what? So okay. I became SWAT. So I became a bounty. You want to be part of the SWAT team? Yes. So you said men that you date don't don't normally like that profession for you? No, because I get phone calls in the middle of the night and tell me I need to go pick up this first. They know what if this first particular person is. So that I got to go get them. Okay. 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 I, I, I can see that. I can see that. It's a dangerous job, too. So I, I guess the question was, does she need to quit her job? She do whatever she wants. But apparently the date market says otherwise. There you go. Her self-awareness is pretty high. You can, we must give her that. She said, why are you single? She said, because they don't like my job. There you go. So I think a troll was here earlier asking about should she quit her job? Depends on what she wants out of life. Do she want a man? Because these men that she won't seem to not like her occupation. So it's up to her. She can do what she won't. Free will is a mother. <laughs> like that. So right. He is very, very. Yeah. Very. Okay. So why would a guy be lucky to be with you? I'm funny. I'm entertaining. Uh I love guns. I love going to the gun range. I'm so sorry. I don't know. I love guns. I love going to the gun range. I ain't gonna lie. So if y'all want to go to the gun range for me, babe, I love to shoot. I, I, I don't think this is a pitch for a man. I don't think as you are. The question was, why would a guy be lucky? To be with you, I love. Well, you. I, I, I love guns. I love I'm to, good at shooting. I have lot, a good aim. Oh, exactly. I can shoot really good. I like guns. Oh, I like to shoot. I like to shoot. That's why I think that would turn a man off to know that you like. No, to shoot. and she gonna go before she say anything. Kendra hit on something, and like she said, she about to say, "Well, most men like guns and this and that." No, because your story ain't adding up. You got this missing husband. You a bounty hunter? You like, you know, you like firearms? Who are we talking about? I yeah. don't know. Don't no man like a brutish woman that likes firearms. There you go. Yeah, no, I don't think it's not wrong with a woman handling a gun at all. I think it's dope. I think every able body and same person should own some protection, if you're asking me. But Roman, you brutish. Your, your last, your one and only husband came up missing. You all bounty hunted out, liking guns, loving guns, <laughs> love shooting. And I'm happy Kendra said, look, so, so you got a lot going on. You got a lot of violence going on in your life. Guns and bounty hunting and people missing. As Gavin said, this is a dating show. This is a woman looking for a man. And she talking I about it. Like, here we go. For the all police come in, they from the south and stuff. Maybe it's different down there. You say, oh, men down here like they women shoot guns. Um, show me this. You man. know what? 
let's take all let's say all that is true and somebody keeps saying in the chat i think it's a uh, project uh leroy the five kids is just a deal breaker that's that's over so she could be all dope funny like to go shoot and some dude could be into this that's not far-fetched at all some man could be into this woman but <laughs> the five kids by three different dudes it's done so now it's over you see she 36 she could find her fellow got to go bounty hunting with but the five kids under the age of 18 because she's only 36 but she looks 55 <laughs> Yes, <laughs> it's the five kids is a deal breaker. Otherwise, she got a shot. She's the most self-aware. But sisters, man, you gotta stop. And it ain't just men saying it. it definitely ain't just our goofy self saying this. Understand that a lot of women will say, "I am too good to be a baby mother," and y'all got to take that mentality. That's what gets you married. That's what keeps you married. Come on. She went ahead. She she was married, and then her she had a kid by her husband. Then all of a sudden he ended up missing, and she just all the rest just bastards. How how did we get there? Uh, bad, it's bad. Shout out my man Don Jeter in the building, brother. Your wrench is on the way. You should have it any second. Your wrench. You should have your wrench. You know, where my wrench, you gritch. <laughs> work with us, work with us over here. And while we up here, make sure y'all hitting the like button. Um, support the show, hit the cash app. The link's pinned to the top of the chat up there. Um, it's in the description, also. It's nice and easy. Just click the link, send what you can or what you want. We appreciate it. Uh, I see somebody asking for it. Here we go. So, she y'all asking for the nug nug bat symbol. Y'all got life screwed up. <laughs> Nug 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 has had enough. Y'all ain't gonna keep putting this on Nug Nug. Nug Nug is waiting for his passport to come in the mail. He see the signal. He flipping the bird. Nug Nug got the internet connection. He got the hub going. What he need her for? No, Nug Nug showing up to this. He showing up. He gonna he gonna at least poke his nose through and and get a temperature because we don't know you know how crazy these five kids are we don't know exactly what's going on in the house it's pretty quiet we ain't had no Kendrick kids come on Cam so it's tough to really taste and smell that environment but I believe Nug Nug ain't turn his nose up so quick he said I go I'm gonna go ahead and see poke 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 my weenie and <laughs> see get a get a feel for the temperature and then I bounce back out. Okay, so Nug Nug is coming. Okay. Yeah. On second thought, Nug Nug sat there. He considered all his options in life, and then he got up and ordered that Uber. Now he ain't taking his uh duffel bag full of his, you know, what I'm saying his half washed clothes. He going pretty much kind of light because he got to get a feel for the. She like guns and shit, so he got to be careful. Nug Nug ain't out here trying to catch a hot one. So he's going to leave all his duffel bag and his, his good J's at his boy's house for now, the couch he's sleeping on, and he's going to go get a feel here and he'll report back. Oh, man. Well, she redneck, done. redneck nug nug. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Rashina. Something like a redneck nug nug. Be there quick. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's so sad. So bad. What are we even talking about? <laughs> Most men carry guns, right? Yeah, but let's say he does nope. something out of order. We know you like to shoot. If he get out of order and somebody doing something to him, who going to shoot Bill? Who going to aim for that? Out of order within the relationship, are you going to shoot at him? Hell no. That's not me. Okay. No. Okay. I don't even call the police. Well, why, oh, you're saying he got out of order. I don't call the police. I don't do none of that. Here we go. And with that, that's a heck of Here we go. Because if y'all don't know, tonight over on the main channel, this is a shameless plug, cart before the hood. All right, we a shot rack. And what we are noticing going on in the hood is a lot of these women are talking like her. And the men. Everybody. The women say, oh, he go upside my head. I ain't calling the police. The men say, I'm going upside my woman here, and she bet not call the police. It's a whole environment of this. Because she a rider. 
And you know what? Kev used to touch on this the best he could. Whenever these women would constantly come on and say, well, you don't understand. I was abused. It was abusive. And Kev would say, was a police report ever filed? And man, 95% of the time, the answer was no. No, it wasn't. Because they got this goofy ass mentality. You are what you're she, she flex it. She using it as a flex. She, I don't do yeah. it. Yeah. I don't call the cops, Kendra. I don't call, call the cops. You understand? So if he, you mean if he do something bad and egregious? Yeah, yeah. I I don't get the. <laughs> End up missing. <laughs> Real talk. We mean y'all better start calling the cops. Y'all get y'all heads went upside it. Yes. Because the first thing y'all want to do is y'all want to call y'all brothers, y'all uncles, y'all cousins, right? And then you bring them over here and somebody get deleted. And then it's all bad. There you go. Yeah, here we – let's just be known. I don't – no real man hit no woman. No real man is hitting no woman. There's nothing to gain from hitting a woman. You will are, you are be – a N. I can't say if y'all know what I'm saying. You a you a snitch a negro. You a punk. You a whole biatch. So no. So we don't condone that ish. Tell you that. Real talk. So my man Don Jeter say, why women ruin perfectly good breasts with them state prison tattoos? Yeah, <laughs> brother. <laughs> I agree. They be tatting them things up and this game. They gotta be rough. They Vikings, gypsies, this threat to turn. They acting like men. They acting like they got Y chromosomes. And before we move on, shout out to my man Don Jeter, the big joker for the Cash App, brother. Support his interest tonight. Make sure y'all hitting the Cash App here late in the show. We still cooking. All right, we still got a few things left on the grill. We still cooking. <laughs> All right, we're trying to reach our goal here. We over the halfway point. The link's pinned to the top of the chat for a cash app. It's in the description as well. Hit the like button as well. I hear those are a little anemic. So <laughs> get the likes up. And this woman here, like you he said, she ruined a perfectly good set. Yes, she did. Yes, she did. Mm -mm -mm. I'm not a police type of person, but I deal with the police. That's the thing. I deal with police. Oh, you're talking you about if it, got it violent, if it got violent with the guy, you wouldn't call the police. Is what would that? you do to That's not me. yourself then if you're not going to call the police? Babe, I tell 308s. I like nines. I got 40s. I got, oh. Oh. That's the point I'm making. You got your own guns. You made the point. I, yeah. You made the point I was trying to make. You like to shoot, so he needs to know he has to be on his best behavior. Cause she don't got to. You literally. Cause I ain't got, got time. I don't like have that. time to play. You don't got to call I don't the police. Have time cause to you play. are the police. I don't need no backup. I got it. Hey. Where do you want me to shoot you in the ass at? Which gun? I'm gonna let you <laughs> pick the gun out. I'm gonna shoot you in your ass. You can pick out. I'm gonna lay the guns out on the table. Like when you was a kid and your mama said, which belt you want? You going to put all the guns on the table. So you was messing with who? You try to hit who? What? Oh, okay. This is what I was saying, D, that I was saying but when you were talking is, about guns. I know multiple police officers. Um, I know all the police officers. So I ain't. What that got to do with anything? Kendra just asked you. She said, I love guns. He said, well, we'll do to be scared if you got guns. Oh, no, Kendra, not me. I wouldn't dare pull my gun on no man. Five minutes later, what would you do? This man going upside your head. I got all type of guns, Kendra. I'm going to put one in him. I ain't calling the cops. I'm popping him. He do anything. I'm putting some hot in him. That fast. <laughs> it's amazing how quick these women will start talking out both sides of their neck. First, she say, no, Kendra, I'm not like that. I don't call the cops. Kendra said, yeah, you like that? She said, no, I ain't that kind of woman. I would, That ain't even in me. I wouldn't shoot at him. So Kendra said, you ain't calling the cops. So what you going to do? She said, I got nines, 45s, you know, 762, 556, 10 millimeters. She just started naming rounds that she's going to put in your ass. <laughs> but but I'm not like that, Kendra. I was a nice lady. Hey, I tell you what though, nug nug start going upside your head, get them up off you. 
I tell get them up off you because don't no real oh, man hit no nug nug. Yeah, let's be clear now. We do not condone violence of any form. Stop messing with nug nug. Stop messing with a dude you got to pull out the nine on. But in the event that nug nug start busting you upside your head, go ahead and uh let a lot of gang ish pop off on them right quick. That's all. And like Rashina said, there she talking in circles. Um, hip the hypocrisy tonight. I, if we can't take nothing else away from tonight, it's been the hypocrisy <laughs> and and the pots calling pots, pots. Holy hell, let me make this. Yeah, up. These, are, these ain't even the pots calling the kettle black, these are just pots looking at other pots. And, hey, you know, you're a pot, right? <laughs> Ain't worry about me. Child, we don't want no problems. We already know, child. Mm -hmm. So listen, if you want Nicole, I said it right? Niclo. Niclo. Clo. Clo. Niclo. You got to come correct. So what's the age range you would date? You're 36. 40 to 50. 40 to 50. Okay. Um, and you can have kids. She doesn't want kids. She don't want you to be in Alabama. Um, she's a Capricorn. Quite, um, well, let's do it, boo. Give them your Facebook page. And there y'all go. Um, this was a rough one. Auntie, grandma. This is this is grandma's sister. I don't know. Didn't age well. The sister did not age well. Or maybe it's just a bad camera angle or a bad, you know, maybe she got a bad lens on this camera. <laughs> Don't, that's, no. I hope that's the. I hope that's the case. Yeah, because it just ain't. It, as y'all would say, it just ain't giving. It ain't, it ain't giving, giving at all. It, it ain't giving wife. It ain't giving partner. It's giving grandma. It's giving grand. It's giving wild grandma side piece. And my man Don Jeter, he said, imagine trying to sleep with her. She might ask you to put the hot iron on her back. Oh man, she wanted rough, rough. She said, brand me, baby. <laughs> rough. Oh, these sisters. Ashe, sister, as we always do. Like you said, if you're eligible, we tell you. There but you go. Not, yeah, if you, if not, we're going to see the directions to the nearest pet co. Well, wait, wait a minute now. I thought she, did she disqualify herself for Nug Nug? Oh, yeah, she did say 20K, huh? 20K. She wild, but she still said 20K, and she wild. I don't, she did not disqualify herself. A, a man with a wild chromosome can and most likely will walk through that door. 20K, this woman may actually get what she wants, so hold the phone. We sat here and laughed from our bellies at the bounty hunting, bell bondsman, goofy, war-torn woman. That look like she's 50 and she's 36. And here she is. Her probability of getting what she wants is pretty high because she ain't demanding much. Yeah. Listen. <laughs> uh -huh. Brothers, I'm an advocate for men. All right. Good men. There you I go. Don't, I, don't, I, I don't recommend any brother come walking into this. In a serious relationship. When you put serious. it that way. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. If you even thinking about this, if you even having a thought about hitting her DM, my man Kale said it best. I didn't Is this camera on me? <laughs> yes, it's on. That's stupid. Use your <laughs> common sense. It's not a wise move. It's not a wise move. Back out of her DM right now. If you're in it right now, back out. Back out. I agree. So I renege on what I said. Yeah, considering all the data, even though she ain't asking for much, would I tell a man to sign up for this? No, sir. Here we go. My man Don Deer said the smell of meter. I forgot about the smell of meter. Oh, so yeah. It's, it smelled like Newports and, oh, and Jack Link's beef jerky up in that man. <laughs> She like she like rugged man food. She in there chewing on beef jerky, smoking. I don't a know, but I think I think I smell like a barbecue grill going somewhere. 
I smell like yeah. a fruit being grilled around her at all times. Okay. Like she always got food on the grill or something. <laughs> you know, you're going out. You might smell good over here. What y'all got on the grill? That's her. That's so her. Smell like gunpowder. Yeah, she most likely got a dog. There's a, a man. There you go. So she most likely got a dog. It's damn near faux show. A pit bull, German shepherd, something that'll bite the ish out of you. So that, yeah, smell meter is off the radar. I guarantee it, it ain't pleasant. Don't It don't smell like, you know, fine scented candles. I will have to assume. So like my man, Mr. Black said, let's buy these guys a cup of coffee for this overtime show. We cooking for y'all on this Saturday.